Hello, my loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, my loves. Let's see what we have here for Pisces. <coughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so we're going to start with some channeled messages, and then we're going to do some Oracle, and then get into the reading, okay? So, Pisces, I felt a very strong warning for you guys. A very strong warning. Um, I feel like you have recently released yourself from something really bad. And I feel that um, you're, you're in a process of healing. And what's going to happen here is you're going to meet somebody. And this person's going to be very, you know, solid and stable. And they're going to be very, like, traditional in the way they do things. And very spiritual. And, you know, it, it's going to be beautiful. It really is. The problem here is, is that you're going to be so caught up with still needing to heal from the past that you're not really wanting to pursue that right now. You're not really wanting a long-term relationship. You're not really wanting to be, you know, loved and all that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because you're still maybe in a little bit of a jaded mind frame of what's the point? This is just going to end anyway, right? So, <clears throat> Be careful with that because you may have someone really good coming in wanting to treat you right and you may end up pushing that person away, okay? So let's see what we have here. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Pisces, please. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Pisces. Confidence is your key to success. Confidence is your key to success. So Pisces, I feel like spirit is telling you to keep hope. You know what I'm saying? Keep, you know, your confidence level up when it comes down to finding love and finding a relationship. I feel like some of you are so hurt that you're giving up on love. Okay. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Pisces, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces. Yeah. So we've got storm warning and caring connection so i feel like what we have here is this this <coughs> beautiful loving soul tie type of connection coming in it's going to come in out of nowhere it's going to happen quick it's going to happen fast and it's going to be very um like, uh, what do I want to say? Stable, long term. Like it's not. It's not a fly by night type of thing that's happening here. Okay. Um, clarity, guidance, love messages for my can uh, cancers, for my Pisces. I'm sorry, for my Pisces, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Pisces, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Pisces, please. Tell me about Pisces, please. So I feel like Pisces, what you have here is a commitment coming in, a commitment that's going to give you the love and attention that you deserve, but you're stuck. You're stuck, Pisces. You're stuck in this horrible place. And Pisces, if this isn't you, <coughs> you may um, be dealing with somebody that is going through this deception and healing light. <coughs> Pisces, I'm so sorry. Deception and healing light. Someone here was hurt really badly, maybe cheated on, maybe lied to, whatever the case may be. Um, someone here just was hurt very badly, very badly. And it's going to take a lot of time and understanding for this person to heal. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces. So we've got ascending, transcending obstacles, learning expansion, new phase, and preparing for union. So I feel here that Pisces, this past situation was put in your path for you to ascend, okay, for you to ascend. But with stamped in the back and cassette here, I feel like you cannot stop replaying the pain. Like the moment you found out this person was cheating or the moment that you found out this person was, you know, betraying you in some way, shape or form. Like it keeps, you know, running like a, like a video tape in your head and with date here and love i feel like you're meeting someone new meeting someone that's going to give you that unconditional love but you're unable to receive it because you're still not healed okay clarity guidance love messages for pisces please tell me about pisces please 
We've got let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally and romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth of exploring. Express your love in the reverse. Uh, I'm sorry, under the deck I meant, not in the reverse. Um, <clears throat> Pisces, I feel that I feel that spirit is telling you to let go. Surrender, surrender, let go, forgive, and heal. Um, if you feel something, then pursue it. If you're in a relationship and you feel like you're starting to, you know, have feelings for this person or, you know, you really like somebody, pursue it. Um, being scared and living in fear is just a way of trying to control the outcome of things. And you're never going to be able to control the outcome of things. It's an illusion, you know. <coughs> so let's see what we have here. Good Lord. Clarity, guidance, and love messages. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Pisces. These cards are everywhere. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces, please. Tell me about Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, please. Tell me about Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, please. Okay. So we've got the Ace of Cups. We've got the Ten of Cups, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, and we have the World Card. Pisces, I mean, this is unbelievable, okay? <clears throat> this this is just unbelievable. The Empress card under the, under the deck here, um, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. This is a new love coming in. This is somebody that is definitely divinely guided soul tie. Definitely, it's like you hit the jackpot in love. Okay, um, definitely a cycle ending in your life. But you're over here like, meh. Is this really my person? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you have such a strong and beautiful soul tie here. Someone who's committed, grounded, ready to get married, ready to do it all. You know what I'm saying? And secretly, you're still, you know what I'm saying, mourning and ending here. You're still mourning and ending. Four of Swords needing to heal. Needing to heal. I feel that perhaps you're waiting for an apology from an ex or, you know what I'm saying, expecting an apology and that's not coming in, which is making it worse. But someone here has hit the jackpot in love. Like, I mean, hardcore, but they're not even able to enjoy it because they're still having so much pain or, or hanging on to so much pain from the past, okay? Tell me about the Ace of Cups here for Pisces. The Justice card, Libra Energy. This is good karma coming back to you. Someone that's going to treat you right. Ten of Cups, Knight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. This person wants forever with you. Leo, Sagittarius Energy. <clears throat> this person wants forever. Moving forward, this is all they have. They're passionate about wanting to buy a home, wanting to get married, wanting to have a life with you. Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant. Pisces, this is getting disgusting. <laughs> it is so gorgeous, it's literally getting disgusting. But here you are with the Four of Cups and the Six of Wands, not even, you're not even acknowledging the victory. You're not even acknowledging the victory. With Temperance and the Queen of Swords, you need to heal. You're still too guarded. You're pushing this person's love away, Pisces. You're pushing their love away. Tell me about the world card here for Pisces and the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. This is everything that you manifested coming towards you, Pisces. It's literally everything that you prayed for, everything that you manifested. What else do we have here for Pisces? Please tell me about Pisces. The Death card, Scorpionic Energy, Four of Wands. Tell me about the Death card. The Death card. Tell me about Pisces, please. Hierophant in the Reverse, Taurus Energy, and the Four of Cups. Pisces, and this is you. I don't know. I don't, do I even want this? I don't even know if I like you. Like you're just you're just like all over the place. With the death card and the four of wands here, I feel I feel that with the death card and the hierophant and the reverse, there was an ending here that made you lose hope. You've got no faith. You've got no faith in love, no faith that there's good people out there, no faith that anyone can actually be loyal. Um, with the Four of Wands and the Four of Cups, it's being presented to you, but you're just not wanting to take the offer because you don't, you just don't believe it. You don't believe this person. <clears throat> you're just not, you know, you're either afraid to take the offer, you don't want to take the offer. Tell me about the death card, please, for Pisces. 
We've got the Six of Cups. Something very bad happened here in your past, Pisces. Now, it could be the childhood trauma, but I feel more so that it's, you know, an ex, an ending. Tell me about the Hierophant in the reverse. Eight of Cups and the Two of Cups. You've had to walk away from people that you thought were your soulmate, or you've had to walk away from people that you loved um, because they, you know, didn't know how to act or they didn't want commitment. And with the Five of Cups and the Ace of Swords, I feel like, you know, it cut you very deeply. It caused you a lot of pain. And I feel that the truth that you're seeing here is that there's just no point. You know, people make promises and then leave. People pr make promises and leave. Six of Pentacles in the Tower. They take what I have and then they go and choose someone else. Do you understand what I'm saying? So now it's just you've got this confidence in you. This like, I bet my life that this person's just going to dip on me. Right? You know what I'm saying? So let's see here. Tell me about the Four of Wands for Pisces. The Hanged Man in the reverse. Tell me about the Four of Cups for Pisces. Ten of Swords in the reverse. Pisces, I feel like you, you're you judging someone here too harshly. I feel like you're judging someone here too harshly because if you just look up, you'll see here that this person does not plan on leaving you whatsoever you don't even have to wait to figure that out you've got someone new here that does not is not going anywhere you know tell me about the challenge here for pisces yeah pisces listen <clears throat> with the devil card in the reverse and the page of pentacles in the reverse i feel like there's something here that you're not talking about when people ask you how you're doing and you say, fine, it's a lie. There's something here that's very toxic that you're trying to heal from. It may have been narcissistic abuse, maybe some form of abuse. But with the <clears throat> with the Five of Cups here and the Two of Swords and the Queen of Swords under the deck, <clears throat> you are not letting anyone in. You are scared to let anyone in. You're trying to heal from something that's very bad and you're trying to do it alone. Tell me about the outcome here for Pisces. We've got the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, the Judgment card, and the Five of Wands. Pisces, if you make the decision to... I feel like you're going to be accusing someone here of consistently cheating. You're going to be accusing someone here of consistently cheating, and it's going to cause somebody to withdraw emotionally. Yeah. It's going to cause someone to withdraw emotionally. You're going to be constantly, you know, judging a situation. Like, you've already judged this person and have it in their, in your head that they're going to cheat on you. And so you're jumping on every little thing. There's major healing that needs to take place here. And I feel that, you know, you just need to, like, let go, let God, you know, type of thing. Um, and just let this person love you. You know, this person's just, like, sitting there, Pisces, like, just let me love you. You know, and that's it. Um, so... I feel like, you know, don't come down and just judge this person for no reason. Don't, don't make them, don't make the new pay person pay for the past person's mistakes. Okay. All right, guys. I love you so much and take care.